Shalom to Ibrahim Nanu, head of the Bahrain Jewish community. Shalom, nice to be with you. So how did you react, how did you respond when you heard of the Israel-Bahrain deal? Uh, um, uh, we, we were amazed, really amazed. Um, and uh, uh, very excited. Uh, we, I mean, like when the news came out about the UAE, um, you know, we figured, well, uh, probably Bahrain probably might be next, you never know. So, uh, it, it, but it came, it came as a complete surprise because we didn't know about the timing. So, um, uh, it, it was a great, uh, a great uh, piece of news. Now, while peace with the state of Israel is, is a new deal, a new story, uh, in terms of peace, so to say, with the Jewish community, that's something that's historic. Sure. Um, well, we go back a long way, um, uh, over a hundred years. Uh, where, when, uh, in the days when uh, Bahrain was a really amazing trading post between Europe and uh, India, and the Jews in, um, uh, in Iraq who didn't have jobs or who were kind of like misfits in their own kind of society, uh, decided to move to Bahrain to find work there. The community in the 20s, 30s and 40s numbered about, say, 800 uh, people. And the interesting thing is that the market here in Bahrain used to close on Saturdays because if the Jews weren't working, there wasn't much point opening the market. Now, throughout the years, there have been so many tensions, of course, between the Arab world and Israel, Arabs and the Jews. These tensions never affected what was going on between your community and Bahrain and the, the residents of Bahrain? There's, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. I'll tell you what it is. The, the, the Bahraini Jews uh, are kind of, like, um, they're kind of like Arab Jews in a way, but they're integrated in a way that they, uh, they mix with the Arabs. I mean, my friends, my friends are Arabs. My, my best friends are Arabs. Um, and, and we mix uh, with them in a way that doesn't really worry anybody about your background. You know, it doesn't worry anybody that you're Jewish. It doesn't worry any, anybody that you're uh, a Muslim or a Shiite or a Sunni. It doesn't worry people that. So, Ibrahim, are you uh, looking forward to see the Israeli tourists come over? I'm, I'm looking forward to having, having Israelis come over here. It's going to be great. Um, and, and, you know, we're gonna, there's going to be like a, 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 a sights to see for the Israelis. You know, like the, like the synagogue hopefully will be ready by February. Uh, we'll have a Torah hopefully in there as well. Uh, and um, uh, there, there's, there's a lot to see in Bahrain. It's rich in history. And I tell you what, we've got a market that's got some spices that are amazing. And amazing, amazing sort of um, remedies for ailments, which are sort of uh, vegetable remedies, uh, spice remedies. You know, I mean, I can take you down the market and show you what is the best thing for your health. <laughs> Do you think it'll be weird for Israelis to, you know, walk around, tour the area, and hear all this Arabic around them? It, it will be, it'll probably be weird for them, but I tell you what, we had Shlomo Omar come over here, you know, the rabbi of Jerusalem, he came over, we had a, I took him to the synagogue and we had a great time, you know, and he really loved it here. So, uh, and he didn't feel, out of, he, he kind of felt a little bit out of place, because he was, in, he was dressed uh, in all the gear. So, uh, and people around that area all understood that he was, uh, he was Jewish because they know that that, that look is a Jewish look. Um, but uh, he felt okay. And I said to him, there's absolutely no need to worry. You can walk around the market wearing a capel. Nobody's going to say anything. Now back to policy issues. Do you think that uh, Bahrain will pressure Israel on the Palestinian issue? I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling we're, we're going to hear some new ideas coming out, you know, and it's going to be great to see some new ideas come up, um, especially from uh, Bahrainis talking to Israelis and Israelis talking to Bahrainis. You, it, someone's going to get a nice idea about how to move forward with, with that, uh, that age-old problem, you know, uh, and it's got to, I mean, it's got to be give and take. It's got to be, uh, it's got to be empathic. You've got to understand the other person's position and they've got to understand your position. And, and there's not much point, not much point anyone moving forward if no one's going to understand each other's positions. And I think the King of Bahrain did a really good thing, understanding that the only way we can move forward is by give, by giving. And if you give and you, and you, you know, you're going to move forward. So hopefully we'll get some ideas on, on how to solve that problem. So you feel that we're at the beginning of a new era? Definitely. Definitely. It's a new world. It really is. 
and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Ibrahim Nono, head of the Bahrain Jewish community, thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to meeting you and your community soon. Oh, please God, and pleasure, pleasure, really. Thank you.